can launch, huh? Just got to where we fished yesterday. Different conditions today. Current is not flowing as much. It's not a bunch of junk in the water. I feel good about that. I feel like that's gonna help our chances right now. Currently just kind of scanning around the back of the Torbia trying to see these fish are setting up a little better. Not seeing much, but I'm feeling good about our odds today. All right, line's in. A little bit current, but not much. Please be a bass. It is a small mouth. There we go. There we go. Boys better watch out. Look at that. That's a good start. Boom, there we go. 17 three quarter. It's a good start. Not a good one. There we go, 16 and three quarter. Pretty sure we got to touch that. But worst case scenario, 16 and a half. See you later. Man, if only this area was set up right yesterday, could have been really good. Yesterday there was just so much junk here you could barely fish. Now that it cleared out a little bit, I can finally cast effectively. There we go. Mm, that feels like a decent one. I can't tell. Ah, oh, it's a squaw fish. No. Up. Do you have a what? Yeah, I do. I usually don't, but I put one in here yesterday. <laughs> you didn't? Oh. Garvin called me to let me know. No way. 18 and a quarter? Thank you, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem, man. Good luck. Please don't be a squaw fish. I think it's a squaw. Dang it. Oh, small. I don't think it's a keeper. Be a good one. Don't be a squaw fish. He's decent. Yep. Z-Man Swimmer's getting it done so far. 
There we go, 14 and a quarter. Come on, we need an 18. There we go. Ah, I think it's a little. Can I go 12? I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> Little guy again. <laughs> and he's, gonna, he's gonna be a little short. Yep, short. They're eating, that's for sure. Just need to grow in size. Little guy, he is little. Mm. No, eleven incher. Little guy. That's good. At least they're eating the shaky head again. Well, public water. Is that a keeper? Uh, I've been catching a lot of little fish. I might keep. I started off with 17.75 and I was like, oh boy, here we go. Like conditions are perfect. And then a 16 and a quarter, I was like, oh, 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 oh. And it's been kind of slow since. Dang, 11 and three quarter. I need these fish to start waking up again. A little guy. Dang it. <laughs> Lots of little ones today. Now that the current's gone. Used to be a small now. I keep that should be five. Should be. Dang, just fought real hard. Yeah, this is a good one. <laughs> good old SMH worms. Oh, that's number five. Twelve and three quarter. Good one. What is that? No. <laughs> Stupid squaw fish. Come on, dude. <sighs> Dang. <laughs> Had some weight to it. Please? 
good one, please? Not good one. Dang it. What is up with all the little guys today? Don't be a squaw. Yes. There we go. These fish weren't here yesterday. There we go, 15 and a quarter. We just freaking won this damn tournament. That's big fish. Holy crap. I've been seeing that fish down there. Oh my god, how big is that one? That's a game changing fish, boys. Swim bait down in 15 feet of water. Oh, he's so close to big fish. Any half baby tied for big fish tried to get it to touch 20 and three quarters but just couldn't see you girl what's crazy is that i mean i threw down there a whole bunch of times and threw everything down there didn't want to eat it threw the swim bait in there and then ate it I'm coming for you. Yeah, I see that. 20 and a half, bro. <laughs> Dude, so close. I tried to get it to like, touch 20 and three quarter for big fish. Just wanna go. No, just couldn't get it. Mm -hmm. I have 84 and a half today. What was big fish? 20 and a half? Or was it or, or was it 20? Oh, Dan's, Dan's was 20. I got big fish. <laughs> I don't even know how big. That, that fish was over four. I don't know how big, but it was over four for sure. I probably should have weighed it, but whatever. Did you get your five yet or what? No, not yet. All right, I'm going to let you go then. Go get that fifth one, man. All right, see ya. Crazy thing is that right now, the water starting to look like what it was at practice. Current wasn't flowing as much as it was yesterday like even if i could i mean i would have to catch like a 20 another 20 incher oh, hold up i got one come on please be good oh yep i got you bro i got you that's another 19 dog no i'm just kidding it's probably like 15 it'll cool for me though <laughs> 14 15 oh cool but i like i would have to catch like a 20 another 20 inch to catch up to you that damn is impossible <laughs> 14 and a half Oh, 
Come on. Come on. Be a big one. Don't be a squaw. Don't be a squaw fish. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, dog. That is it. That is the one we needed to call. Hit it on the drop. <laughs> Boom, y'all. 18 and a quarter. That should jump us to second place. 18 and a quarter. <sighs> Got about an hour and a half left. We got a little bit of a run and a pretty far drive. So I'm unsure if we're gonna fish all the way till it lines out at two. Something like this, you don't wanna risk it. You know, accidents can happen on the road and traffic can build up. It would take a lot for us to try to catch first place. We would have to get basically a bunch of more 18 inches or another 20, honestly. I don't know. Seems like it's starting. they're starting to eat a little bit better. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably calling it 20 minutes to run back. I'll be off the water by two. Depending on time it make, takes to get back to the launch, I might be able to hit one more spot. Well, y'all, that's it. That's a wrap. 88 and a half inches today with a 20 and a half inch kicker. Man, I never thought that we could make a comeback like that. Just crazy. I wish yesterday, obviously conditions were better. There wasn't much stuff in the water. We got pretty lucky. Cleared up today, current slowed down. Was able to target those fish that I found last weekend a little bit better. I mean, I didn't think there was gonna be those big of a fish that we found today. So, got lucky in a way that current picked up. I think it just set them up right, got them feeding. But yeah, time to get the kayak on the trailer, head the weigh in, and see what happens. Let's talk about numbers. You guys know all the numbers from yesterday, right? Everybody remembers that. So let's talk about day two. I'm going to go through the top five anglers for day two. In fifth place today, with 78 and a quarter inches, Andrew Larson. In fourth place today, with 78 and a half inches, a quarter inch more, from Oregon, Cody Alice. In third place, with 85 inches even, Mason Meredith. In second place today, with 86 and a quarter inches, Matt Walker. And in first place today, with 88 and a half inches, Mr. Brandon Hua. All right, so if you were doing the numbers in your head real quick, you might have figured out the totals, but I'm going to tell you anyway. In fifth place, with 159 and a quarter inches total for both days, from Washington, Dan Walker. All right, in fourth place, with 166.5 inches, from Washington, Andrew Larson. In third place, winning $250 with 168 inches even from Oregon, Brandon Wall. Our big bass winner wins $500. Biggest bass of the tournament was caught today. Fat football of a smallmouth, 20 and a half inches, Brandon Wall. All right, y'all, we're back in the garage. It's been a couple days since after the championship, and wow, what a way to end the 2023 tournament season. We made one heck of a comeback, one that I didn't even think was possible. We were sitting in fifth after day one, and we were six to seven inches behind everybody else above us. Somehow, we came back with the biggest bag of day two, and finished up in third place overall in the Kayak Fishing Northwest Kayak Bass Classic. Of course, that bag was anchored by that 20 and a half inch smallmouth. That ended up getting big bass overall in the tournament. That fish was so key in this tournament. Definitely an unexpected catch. You know, I threw a Ned rig, I threw a shaky hit, I threw a drop shot at that bridge piling, and I saw that fish down there with active target. It kept coming out, but it didn't want to commit. Of course, obviously the swim bait that Z-Man swimmers were working all day long, decided to chuck that thing out, let it sink down 15 feet of water, 
slow rolled it by the bottom of a piling and that fish came up and smoked it. Thinking back on that fish, that fish was actually my personal best smallmouth out of a kayak, which is crazy to think that it came from the upper Willamette River. You know, in that moment, all I thought about is, cool, that is one of the key fish that I needed for this tournament. Now, let's see if we can get another one. I really think I should have weighed that fish. For sure, it was over four pounds. I was thinking around four and a half pounds. But after talking with some of the other anglers that weigh in, comparing photos from their personal catches that were 20 and a half inches, everybody's thinking that fish was over five pounds, which is, would have been crazy. After hearing that, I kind of regret not taking the extra few seconds just to put that fish on a scale. Had the scale in the kayak, probably should have done it. But at the end of the day, you know, we're on the time crunch with a couple hours left. I wanted to get back in there and see if there was another one so that we can try to win the tournament. Drop a comment below. Let me know how big you think that smallmouth was. Now this is what I call my off season. Tournament season's over. Now it's time to get ready for the next one. And that means getting started on the next kayak build. I purposely framed this video with this background because the new kayak is actually in the garage and I got so many new parts for that build that I'm excited to share with you guys real soon. But yeah, this tournament season has been full of ups and downs. And honestly, a lot of we were so close moments, but that adds more fuel to the fire. I'm super excited for what comes next season. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.